Hello everyone and welcome to uh, another commentary by Dom Derp. This week we're actually going to be going through uh, some ghost gameplay that I got just before the uh, game was released. Uh, where I was actually playing against some bots just to test the game out, test a few of the classes out, uh, just try and see what worked and try and make the most of it, uh, you know, for my upcoming tip series that I mentioned in my last video. Um, so that will be coming soon, I have started work on that, just so you're all uh, pleased to know and you've got something to look forward to. Um, the gameplay here isn't the best, it was uh, quite literally my first sort of run through on uh, any of the maps that you will actually see being played today. Um, so it was a it was a real sort of learning process and I've got to say these bots were on regular and I don't think I've ever come across bots that were actually quite so difficult to play against. Uh, the gameplay you're actually watching here is uh, from the D DLC map called Freefall um, which if you pre-ordered the game uh, you should have had a code for and uh, I've got to say it is actually such a cool looking map. Um, the only thing that kind of lets it down is uh, there's so much going on, but you, you, you're always so locked into a gunfight or, or locked into looking for somebody or some sort of objective on the map that you, you just don't realise how cool some of the surroundings actually are. Um, the gameplay is uh, from a brand new uh, playlist called Cranked on Ghosts, which is, uh, for anyone who hasn't seen it before, is just a, a variable on Team Deathmatch. It's uh, basically, once you get your first kill, you get a 30 second timer, which will be reset back to 30 seconds uh, as soon as you get another kill. And this makes Team Deathmatch uh, an incredible fun game to play. You don't have time to sit around camping in corners, everybody seems to just be running at each other. Um, I've played a couple of games of it online since it has been released. And uh, it's it sort of brought Team Deathmatch back for me actually. It's a, it's a game that I didn't really like, it was too slow paced. Um, you know, people would just sit in corners. It, there just wasn't a great deal of fun to it, you know, it wasn't like you could go for a great high kill gameplays or, or anything like that. Um, so for this, it, it's a definite improvement on Team Deathmatch. Um, so, if you do get to the end of your 30 seconds, which hopefully you won't, or the people that do like to, to camp around and, and not take risks will find out, um, you actually explode, <laughs> if you can believe that. Um, you will see it coming up in this gameplay shortly. Um, there is a point where I was just running around and I could not find anybody um, for love nor money. So you, you'll see exactly what happens when the countdown reaches uh, zero. Uh, the gun I'm actually using is the Honey Badger, which comes with an automatic silencer. Um, I'm also using uh, just about every perk I could find that would actually speed my character up. So I, I've got uh, everything from the increased movement speed to a uh, slight hand. Um, and I, I think I had on the go, which is uh, which is the ability to reload while you're actually running. Um, I'm not entirely sure on that. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, I did get this gameplay over a week ago now. Um, I'm actually running support kill streaks as well. Um, I was just testing out a few of the new ones. Um, so you will occasionally see me throw down ballistic vests um, and the brand new one for support, which is actually ammo crates. And the ammo crates, uh, here you go actually, for those of you who want to see what happens at 30 seconds. There we go. So, the uh, ammo crates, as I was saying, they actually don't just give ammo to your teammates, to, to anyone who doesn't have scavenger. So that, that is a fantastic new addition to the game. Uh, if you actually hold down X as you're walking over the crates, it will uh, just grant you an, a, a completely random weapon. And so far I've got to say I've been pretty lucky with these weapons. I've, been, I've had a few games with... Uh, teammates online here and you know once people start dropping these things down if if you're not quite ready with some of the guns you've got you haven't earned enough squad points yet to unlock anything worthwhile um, it actually really does uh, help out to be given a, another gun j just to test out you know before you get a chance to unlock everything so you will get a chance to find out what works for you and what doesn't you know purely by chance as it were and we're just coming up to the end of this gameplay here and uh, 33 for 11, I've got to admit I expected to do better than that after all the times I've been sitting around spanking the Black Ops 2 bots, uh, you know, when you get bored and you've got nobody else to play with. Um, now this map that we're playing here, I forget the name of this map actually, but it's uh, it's the large map, it's very similar to Array, you can see the giant dish there in the background uh, from Black Ops 1, um, but it is actually a very big map. Um, um, you're actually seeing... Uh, MK14 gameplay here, a uh, single uh, fire weapon, semi-automatic. Um, now the power on this thing is 
absolutely brutal. You can take people out in a couple of hits, but I'm I'm not particularly great with the with the whole one shot weapon thing. Um, I mean, it did take me a few goes uh, just to sort of warm up in this game here. But it, this is I found this to be quite a difficult map. It wasn't particularly easy for me to get any kind of gameplay on this map whatsoever. Um, the gameplay here is actually of uh, another new uh, playlist variant called Grind, I believe. Uh, I'm hoping I'm really not mixing these up too much. Um, grind is where you collect dog tags, very much like Kill Confirmed. However, to bank them, you have to go and stand on the points. As you can see here in the video, I'm, I've only just discovered, actually, that you don't bank them all at once. So I had to keep sort of walking back in and out of the objective. Or, or, or you just stand on it and it will take the tags off you at intervals. Um, I don't think there is any kind of limit as to how many you can hold. Um, but don't quote me on that. Like I said, I've not had a chance to test out everything. There is just so many new things in this game. Um, <laughs> it's so difficult to actually try and test them all out at once. Um... So, how is it? how are you guys actually finding the game? Now, I know a lot of people have complained. They're saying the maps are too big. And, uh, you know, it, it's very easy to die in this game. Everybody literally does go down in, in two or three bullets, which, uh, I mean, to me, kind of sounded like a bit of a blessing. You know, people had a lot of trouble online with, uh, with lag and frame skipping and everything else. So, everybody was asking, you know, make sure that these things are gone and that, you know, people can go down in the, in the bullets that they're meant to. And now it seems to be that since uh, they've given us this option of being able to take people out in a bullet or two, now people are complaining that they die too quickly. I, I kind of think it's more of a case of, uh, you know, people trying to have their cake and eat it too. But personally, I, I think this is an absolutely fantastic addition to the game. The maps are a little bit oversized, um, but I think that will... They'll benefit greatly when uh, when Ground War is eventually reintroduced back in, um, which I've got a feeling will probably be for the newer generation consoles. Um, I, I know there has been a few uh, problems here with frame skipping and things like that now more than lag. Um, I, I think they're really pushing our current gen consoles to their limits here. It, um, I mean, I was only playing with bots here, and I, I think I, I did cut out parts of the gameplay where I didn't particularly do quite so well but uh, there, there were a few moments here where I you know I could have sworn I was putting a few bullets into people and nothing was happening now look at this kill cam I couldn't actually believe this uh, an, an AI using a bolt action shotgun a uh, bolt action sniper rifle even and uh, he actually had the sense to be able to look through the chain link fence at me and I, I couldn't even see him you know when you're trying to learn a new map and there's all this gunfire going on you know, I just, I did not expect that to happen. That was <laughs> an absolute disaster. I'm, I'm embarrassed to be showing that in here, but I thought I'd leave it in just to show you how difficult the AI actually can be. And this is, like I say, on regular, it's it's only their second level up. You know, you've got recruit, regular, uh, and then it gets harder and harder still. I really don't want to be playing on, on veteran or, I think it's veteran, the highest skill. Yeah, that's going to be quite difficult. I, <laughs> I can't imagine playing against them on that sort of difficulty. Um, now this map, actually I could probably do with finding out what this map is called, but uh, I'll mention it in my next video. Um, so as you can see here, there's people trying to score um, on each of the zones. You've got bank A and bank B, um, which are usually, there's one generally either side of, uh, of the map, one for each team. And it, it does take a little while for the, uh, for the tags to actually disappear off of your account. You can see them there in the bottom corner next to my kill streaks. I've, uh, I've got six on at the moment. And again, I don't know how I didn't see that guy. That was a, a bit of a fail on my part. But I, I definitely put it down to learning these new maps. It's And it's back to the Infinity Ward colour scheme. It, it seemed to be so much easier uh, to pick players out against the backgrounds in, uh, in, in Treyarch games. This is... I don't want to say a dull kind of uh, colour scheme. But it, it kind of is. Everything is not as colourful. And, you know, I, I do find it a lot harder to, to pick these people out. I mean, I don't think it's anything to do with my eyesight. I think I recently uh, got myself a new pair of glasses, so it seems to be working well for me. Uh, and also, actually, one other thing I forgot to mention is uh, in, in this particular gameplay, I was testing out the uh, specialist streaks. Now, I don't know if anybody else has had a chance to try these out yet, um, but they actually work very similar to uh, Modern Warfare 3 in that you sort of get three streaks um, to, to pick from for your... Uh, I believe it's three, five, three, five, and eight kills, or 
some I probably really should have checked my facts a little bit more before I started this. Um, but essentially, once you then get your specialist streak, you you have another box um, below where you pick your initial streaks that you earn, um, and you have another uh, set of points to use up essentially. So, you, specialist in this case does not get you every perk. Uh, I'm sorry to say. So you're not going to be quite the super soldier you were in Modern Warfare 3. But there are also a great deal more perks on the game. So, you know, you, I mean, if they were to give you every single perk in this game, I think that would be uh, that would be way too overpowered. And the other thing I have to mention here, just as it's coming up to this point, is that uh, I'm, it does say motion sensor, actually. I've just seen it on the screen to double check it. Now, when it said motion sensor, I could have sworn that it was very much like the motion sensor in Modern Warfare 3. Unfortunately, the motion sensor here actually acts very much like a bouncing Betty. And I really was not expecting that in the slightest. As you'll see it again here in the final kill cam. Um, so, just to sort of sum up, I mean, uh, you know, there's been a lot of good points, a lot of bad points about the game. But I really want to hear what you guys think. So, until next time, please leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to click the video link down below, it will take you to my introduction video to the clan and to you guys. Um, but stay tuned until next time where I show you infected, search and rescue and hunted gameplay.